Hey everyone, I'm Andrea, your Real Life English Fluency Coach, and today we have a great lesson for you where you'll be learning lots of slang vocabulary and expressions that natives use in real life with songs by Bruno Mars. Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch on that long. Bruno Mars has sold over 130 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Now you're going to have a lot of fun with this lesson and you'll understand natives a lot better by watching it. Now before we get into today's lesson, I want to let you know that every week here on Learn English with TV series, we make lessons just like this one to help you learn English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. In fact, Gladys says that she loves learning with our channel because she can smile and relax whilst learning pronunciation and vocabulary. So if that sounds good to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so that you don't miss a single lesson. The first Bruno Mars song we'll look at is Locked Out of Heaven. If you put or lay something on the line, you risk it. This is often collocated with life, as in the following example. Heroism can't be measured by a piece of metal. But what else can we do to recognize the brave officers that have put their lives on the line? Sometimes, to make this sound more emphatic, we might say to put it all on the line. Like Bruno, Jim here is also using this expression to describe his feelings. You don't even know. She's single now. No, I, I heard something about that. It's just, I kind of put it all on the line. <laughs> Twice, actually, and she said no. Twice. Bruno is saying here he's not willing to put his heart on the line. He means that he doesn't want to have his heart broken. So how did you get that far into law school and then drop out? Well, I got my heart broken, yeah. and then everything got weird. This song has many references to religion and worshipping. A sinner is one that commits sins or does something that is against the rules of a religion. The expression we'll take a deeper look at is to change one's ways. This means to improve one's behaviour, habits or beliefs. In the context of this line in the song, Bruno is telling the woman he has such strong feelings for her that she could make him change his behaviour in a positive way. Let's watch this expression in use. Previously on Desperate Housewives, Carlos promised to change his old ways. Dr. Goldfine has concerns about us being together, and I'm starting to think he's right. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, violin, living it up in the city. A masterpiece is a work done with extraordinary skill. Example, this building is a masterpiece. This song is a masterpiece. However, here he's using this word to praise or say nice things about women. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. By the way, did you notice the strange grammar in the sentence, them good girls? Shouldn't it be those good girls or the good girls? This is an interesting slang use of the objective personal pronoun them. So if you say, for example, I gotta get them tickets, you mean, I got to get the tickets. Remember, this is very informal and you should only talk like this in appropriate situations. Then he says, Silent, violent, living it up in the city. 
He uses the word style as a verb. This is not a common use and is also slang. An approximate definition could be showing that you have style. Continuing with the slang, by whiling, he means dancing enthusiastically or partying. Then he says living it up in the city. To live it up means to have a very enjoyable time, especially by going to parties or having a very busy social life. Can I get a drag of that? Yeah. I gotta live it up while I can, right? Do you want to master native vocabulary and pronunciation? Then I highly recommend our Fluent with Friends course. In this 48 week course, you will learn with the first two seasons of Friends. You'll receive PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And did you know that you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass? All you have to do is click up here or in the description box below to learn more and sign up now. Jump on it if you suck, sad, and flown it. If you freak, dead, and own it, don't break about it. Come show me. If you sexy, then flaunt it. Can you already work out the meaning of flaunt there? Let's watch these three clips if you're still in doubt. I was, I really wasn't going to flaunt this. I have made a very sizable donation to Oscar's nephew's walkathon. $25. So disappointed it didn't work with him and Penny. Me too. Out of deference to them, let's not flaunt our happy relationship. <laughs> you have a keen insight into the human heart, Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> Do you know that I have lost 68 pounds in two years? That is fantastic. Thank you. I'm so happy I'm for you. I'm very proud of it, and That's I want to flaunt what I've got. You can flaunt two thirds of the day outside of the office. If you think that flaunt means to show or display your possessions, abilities, or qualities to obtain other people's admiration, you got it. It's similar to this other word he uses, brag about something. George Michael was trying to impress a cousin he was tutoring in math. Excuse me, hello. By bragging about software he was developing. So it's privacy software that's also anti-piracy? It's called fake block. He was lying. It was software that made a phone, when tapped, sound like a woodblock. By, if you freaky then own it, he means to accept who you are, even with your flaws or defects. You're probably familiar with own, as in, he owns a car. An alternative meaning of this is when we say something like, own who you are, or accept who you are, or own it take responsibility for a mistake. We often turn this into the phrasal verb, own up. Sometimes when you make a mistake, all you can do is own up to it, all right? Because it's something you can't fix, knowledge. In Grenade, Bruno talks about a woman he's in love with and all the things he would do for her. What you don't understand is I catch a grenade for you. Throw my hand on a blade. Jump in front of a train for you. You know I do anything for you. Listen, babe, I will go through all this pain. Yeah, take a bullet straight through my brain. He says he'd do anything for her. This is the most generic of all these ways that you can use to show extreme loyalty or appreciation for someone. Then, you'll observe the same meaning in the idiomatic expression, take a bullet. In other words, you care so much about someone that you would die to save their life. Example, we've been friends forever, I'd take a bullet for him. 
If you're enjoying watching this lesson with Bruno Mars and you love learning English with songs, then I highly recommend you check out our playlist because we have so many more lessons just like this one with lots of different artists. All you have to do is click up here or in the description box below to have a look and choose your next lesson. Now we move from the Bruno who would do anything for someone to the Bruno who doesn't feel like doing anything. Today I don't feel like doing anything I just wanna lay in my bed This is the lazy song uh, I'm gonna kick my feet up then stare at the fan Turn the TV on, throw my hand in my pants Nobody's gonna tell me I can't The phrasal verb kick your feet up is quite visual Can you guess in which of these the person kicked their feet up? We say this to talk about a moment when we want to relax. A very useful informal word that we love to use instead of relax is chill. Let's watch some clips with this word. Hey Schmidt, how you doing? Can I sit with you on your cooler here? Yeah, just chilling, hanging with the cat. Holla. To tell someone to relax, we say chill out. Because you're weak, Nick. Weak. Yeah, I agree, just chill and stop yelling. A snuggie is a type of robe as seen in this picture. This is great. Yeah, I might mess around and get my college degree. I bet my old man will be so proud of me. But sorry, pops, you'll just have to wait. Your old man is your father. If I could only save one possession in a fire, probably my first set of golf clubs. My old man gave them to me. He then uses another fun way to refer to his father, Pops. In American slang, some people also say mums to refer to their mother, but not my old woman. I'll just strut in my birthday suit. To strut is to walk in a proud way trying to look important, the way that models walk down a catwalk. If she's doing something that's making Leonard uncomfortable, you should talk to her. Oh, no, he's not uncomfortable at all. No, he's loving it. Yeah, he's strutting around like he's five foot six. <laughs> Continuing in line with the lazy theme, he won't even get dressed. If you're in your birthday suit, you're naked. Hang loose is also similar to chill. If you let things hang loose, you relax and don't worry about them because they're not important. Here, he also means he'll be hanging loose as he won't be wearing any underwear. My pride, my ego, my needs and my selfish ways. Ways here is similar to when we defined to change one's ways. It refers to how a person often behaves. We often say an adjective plus ways. We also often say, stuck in one's ways, or set in one's ways. Honey, what are you doing sitting in front of a vehicle? Jay says I can't leave until I taste it. Why do you torture him like this? Because he's too stuck in his ways, Gloria. This is good for him. He'll taste the pickle. He'll find that he likes it. He'll try more things. This is good parenting. My pride, my ego, my needs, and my selfish ways. Cause the good strong woman like you to walk out my life Now I never, never get to clean up the mess I made Oh, and that haunts me every time I close my eyes This word is a bit different from the type of vocabulary we've been seeing so far You could say this word is more related to the horror theme For example if a ghost haunts you, it visits you or appears in front of you frequently and it makes you feel scared. Or think about a haunted house, for example. The use here is a bit less literal. We often talk about a certain memory haunting you, meaning you constantly think about it and you start to feel anxious. I was thinking on hooking them. Last week I tried to take one off a girl at a party. I fumbled for so long, she started to laugh. It still haunts me. <laughs> Silent, wildin', living it up in the city. 
ready? Just killed a man Put a gun in 